So as you may be aware, the Kindle has a built-in browser and it's experimental and it's very buggy and very annoying. For example, I read Hacker News over here um, and I have to hunt for the link. So w when I click on the link, sometimes the web page display, most of the time, is garbo and you can't read it. Um, this is a especially bad example, but um, a lot of the times you have to like go to the three dot menu and go to article mode and then it becomes a little bit less annoying. Uh, but still you have to kind of like use your finger to flick, but it doesn't flick one page at a time. So you have to like kind of like think of it as a touch screen, but it's not responsive. So it doesn't flip one page. All I want is flipping one page, right? Um, when you go back, it doesn't go back to the page that goes to this page. It go ba back to the page that doesn't have the reader mode. So you have to click back once more. But then, sometimes it never gets back to the page that you have been before. Um, so I kind of like, uh, we, we can probably do a little bit better than this. So uh, I had to gather some script for the M5 paper. That's a e-ink device of 4.7 inch, and um, it has a ESP32 chip on it, um, like 400 kilobytes of RAM or whatever. Um, but anyway, I made a RSS reader for it, and this, and to just to make my life a little bit less miserable, right? Um, so let's say uh, I want to read the same article so as you can see uh, when I flick I flick one page at a time and of course I can use the touch screen too um, but when I go back it will really go back and everything opens in the reader mode so oh well you know sometimes it doesn't work it's my node.js hack together script so what can you say right um but uh, most of the times it works um let's see let's go back go back and then go to let's say hacker day and uh all right Yeah, um, so that's the kind of project that I'm working on. Uh, the code is obviously very hacky and it barely works, but it does most of the times. Um, I'm going to post it on my GitHub and I'll put a link on the description so you can check out. Um, but yeah, thanks for watching.